everyone. So today I'm talking about something that some of you are going to initially go, ugh. Well, well, then why are you talking about it, Regina? That doesn't sound very glamorous. Well, I'll tell you why. There is no better time than the present, that's right, which means now, to clean out your closet. Now I know, I know, I know, you guys don't want to do it. It sounds awful because your closet probably looks like this, right? Everything's a big mess, so you're, the thought of facing that closet kills you. But let me tell you something, your closet could look something like this and much more organized where you can actually see what you have. Because how many of us let our closets get so cluttered that we end up only wearing a little portion of it every day because why? It's easy to pull everything out, it's right there, and then you end up wearing the same things over and over again. Don't you love those moments when you happen to branch out in your closet and you discover something that you completely forgot about? Right. That is just like shopping. How fun is that? You might even find something like I do sometimes with the tag still on it that you forgot about. And that is the best ever. Love it when that happens. So, time to clean out the closets. So I thought I'd share with you some of my rules of thumb to help your closet never look like that again. It can always, always stay well maintained and you don't have to do such a huge cleaning. So here we go. Once a year, here's the rule of thumb. If you have not worn it, looked at it, touched it, seen it in a year, two words, goodwill. Got it? Give it to someone who can use it. Absolutely, hands down. Or what I suggest, gather all your friends together, have some cocktails, and have a clean out party because something you have someone else may love and vice versa gives you girls a chance to hang out together have a few cocktails and maybe get a few new items for your closet at no expense that's a great idea it's a lot of fun now how do we determine what you don't want to keep here we go number one if it's too big why keep it wearing baggy clothes may be comfy but it's not glamorous are you planning on gaining weight? Is that why you're keeping those big clothes? I don't think so. Goodwill, out, give it to a friend, give it to someone who can wear it, absolutely. Number two, if it's too tight, it goes. It does not fit, it's too tight. You haven't lost the weight, you're not probably gonna lose the weight before you wear that, and by then it's gonna be out of date. Let it go. There is nothing good to say about wearing clothes that are too tight. Too tight makes you larger than you are. Makes you look larger. Who wants that? Nobody. Out. Number three, saying that you are keeping something till it comes in style again is not a good excuse. How many people, well, you pull it out, you hold it up, mm, maybe, I might, this may come around again and I want to keep it because I absolutely, nope, out, out, out. Let's keep going. Number four, I don't care how much you paid for that pair of shoes because they make you scream in pain. You never wear them. They sit in your closet and gather dust. Let them go. And finally, take stock of all the shoes you wear. What needs repair, new polish, what needs to be replaced. Make all your shoes wear ready. And then you know exactly what feels good and everything looks good. And then you know exactly what you will need to add to your closet to replace them, right? It's that simple. So once you've got everything together, you'll be good to go. You will enjoy going into your closet once again. I mean, I know it's not much fun when you're doing it, but once you're done, you'll be so glad. <sighs> I've got to do it too. Let's do it together. You can do it. I can do it. And hey, what a glamorous season it'll be to go into our closets. And then we'll have more room to do what? Buy more things. And we all love that. Have a fantastic day, everybody.